Defying Western critics, China's economic growth continues. From consumption to the digital economy, high-end manufacturing and quantum computing, today's China is thriving thanks to modern technology. But can the country simultaneously sustain growth and safeguard the environment and the livelihoods of 1.4 billion people? Tomorrow's tech titans are emerging here in the city of Shenzhen, starting in the field of laser technology. This is the most accurate light, the most bright light, the most fast speed. If we have the light, we have unlimited possibilities. In the future, it is the time of the light of the light, and the light of the light is the eyes of the light. How can we make the light of the light more far, more clear, more accurate, and also make the average consumer feel comfortable? 这是我们一直想解决的问题。我是谢欣，一名激光雷达行业的创业者。LiDAR, a three-dimensional laser scanning system that has revolutionized range measuring. 想要看得更清晰，一种很简单的方法就是叠加更多激光器，不停地叠加，目前最多加到一百二十八线。但是，一套这样的设备，几十万，对于消费者来说太过于昂贵。In the global race to commercialize autonomous driving, reducing the cost of lidar devices is a crucial step. Sears Company boldly embarks on a brand new technological path, much different than the mainstream U.S. originated technology of the day. 我们在七年前选择了一个更加创新的方法。当一束激光打到一个震动的镜子上，同样可以扫出一个面。只要镜子摆动足够快，就可以实现传统的激光雷达一样的效果，甚至更好。同时可以省去很多成本。Their risky move paid off. 就是你不用担心我是维维斯还是我们去找方策吧，就是我们后续会把这里。RoboSense has become a shining star in the lidar industry, taking up the largest market share in China. 现在自动驾驶这个事情，或者我们叫辅助驾驶这个事情慢慢起来，实际上也到了类似于功能机往智能机转变变革的这个关键节点。现在对我们来说最兴奋的就是我们刚好处在这样一个变革的节点。In the past decade, China's government realized only through real, impactful innovations in the real economy can the country's overall economy continue to grow. A government going all out for innovation. Combined with a consumer market of 1.4 billion people, has brought forth unprecedented changes. From policy side, the whole economy side, the people side, people are willing to try new things, willing to do some difficult things, willing to invest in some short-term things. Actually, the whole atmosphere is shifting in this direction. At the time of this big change, it is a very happy thing for innovators to be doing. RoboSense plans to roll out a smart assembly line by the end of 2022, with an annual production capacity of 1 million LiDAR devices. That will make LiDAR available to over 50 types of new energy vehicles, or NEVs. 50 kilometers away from the startup is China's largest NEV maker, BYD. While China's car ownership has doubled in the past decade, the annual new energy vehicle sales have increased nearly 300 times to over 3.5 million, the highest in the world. BYD, once a battery manufacturer, is one of the biggest beneficiaries of the country's new energy policies. And BYD cars have gone from this to this. This is the main purpose of the main turbine.
。大家好，我叫胡志明，二零二零年毕业于纽约城市大学的一名博士研究生，现在我是一名汽车工程师。Well, this is a car model. Actually, I have a same car in reality. 我回国，我认为从面子上来讲的话，我认为很有面子，因为我们是一个国际化公司。现在我主要从事的工作是智能底盘的研发，它是一项足以改变汽车整个发展历程的一项重大突破技术。Quality, design, and innovation, and reasonable prices became the primary appeal for Chinese car consumers. This change attracts global talent who dreams of transforming the industry from the ground up. 换件方便。就我我们之前调教那个 Dissas 的时候，因为传统底盘它想实现无人驾驶，没办法通过电信号直接去控制各个执行机构这样一个目的。那我们通过研发智能底盘，去用电信号控制各个执行机构，它是一个基石。想要实现无人驾驶，或者说实现呃智能车。那智能底盘它是一个必不可少的一个复杂系统。Drones, 5G, Internet, and autonomous driving. Chinese President Xi Jinping has been calling for innovation-driven, high-quality development, and the success story of Shenzhen might be the perfect example. But Shenzhen alone is not enough for the world's second-largest economy. The country needs more cities like it to rise. And here is one of them. From one billion to ten billion, it took twenty-six years. Twenty-six years ago, it was a dark hole. Today, it's the biggest hole in Chinese history. It's not a bad hole, it's an investment hole. In the past ten years, our country's main city has grown faster than anyone else. That's almost every time we invest, it's just a lie. From one billion to ten billion, it took just one year. It's the biggest hole in Chinese history. It's the biggest hole in Chinese history. 显示屏生产基地之一，集成电路产业集群。中国新崛起的故事，不是靠手，我们靠的是手艺。What about an unassuming inland city without abundant natural resources, being a national transport hub, or strong fiscal revenue? What if this city is also facing fierce competition from more than 30 other large cities? Could it too rise in 10 years' time, at a rate some may say unattainable? The city of Huafei achieved the impossible by investing smartly and decisively. Some say it was all pure luck. Huafei. 不是靠手气，手气指的运气，我们靠的是手艺。With a 300% GDP jump, Huafei has made tens of billions of dollars by investing into industries and tech companies that have been deemed essential to China's future development. Chip making, next-gen screen manufacturing, new energy vehicles, and artificial intelligence. Are all pillar industries fueling the city's growth? Huafei is now one of China's four national scientific centers. From a grassroots government worker to the city's vice mayor, Zhu Sangli has been a part of almost every major investment made by the Huafei government in the past 20 years. From the appearance, look, it's the Fan Ti Fu Ti's change. From the appearance, look, it's the Tuo Tai Huan Gu's change. Because Huafei, this ten years. 成为全国诊断速度最快的一个城市，也算一个网红城市。它的要密码，内在密码是什么？一个地方要要想提升整个地方经济的发展，产业放在是重中之重。只有你的产业发展了，科技的优势才能发挥。因为产业结构变化，所以推动我们整个科技创新，整个和产业的人和互动，科技的优势得到了极大发挥。But what sorts of industries should a city choose? Huafei has its standards. So you see, we choose industry. You see, the country has its standards. The standards are the things the country has to do. The country has its standards. You see, the country has its standards. You see, the country has its standards. You see, the country has its standards. 
，大家思考，做研究。像芯片，这是国家下一步一定会重视的，会大发展的。我们国家是缺的，这是被国外一直控制的，这是我们要做的。However, investment comes with risks, and to run a city, one must be daring without being reckless. First, build a team of expert level officials. Second, form a proactive government. Third, push forward a well-functioning market mechanism. The rest is history. This has been the recipe for Huafei's success. The market's logic is to push forward the market's development. The real thing is that the country has taken the initiative to let the oil sector take the lead in the decision-making process. This is a new focus. Li Hongzhua runs the city's largest state-owned fund. His fund poured over $2.5 billion into a new base for Fisionox, the fourth largest OLED screen manufacturer in the world. But achieving success would take much more than just money and promises. Why if你不懂政策,我们就很难喝 我们还有一个城市也在争，他们领导态度也非常好，就说了一个，说合肥给你恩格政策，我就给你恩加一。你这个态度呢，固然好，大家听着很感动，人家喝酒一样，我们豪爽。但实际上，你落到纸面上，最
have been growing their contributions to the country's above-scale industrial value. The rapid rise of China's tech sector now has the US on high alert. Statement, American tech rules the world. Yes, it does, but not in the gee whiz field of quantum computing. China is pouring billions into quantum computing education. China is ahead of us in quantum computing. And the US Congress passed a law in 2018 called the National Quantum Initiative Act in order to help catch up. The Chinese research team announced to have achieved a significant quantum the United States has confirmed that it will add dozens of Chinese companies to a trade The Biden account. administration has taken its first trade action against the China. The also blacklisting more Chinese companies, including one of the country's top chip makers. One of the many sanctions put on China has been on quantum technology. Hello, i while the US still leads global innovation, Chinese scientists are trying very hard to catch up. For example, in the quantum world, China competes head-to-head -head with the US. China has successfully demonstrated quantum supremacy and set a new global standard, rolling out the world's first communication network encrypted with quantum technology and established the most advanced quantum computers. These technological achievements are also related to Huafei. Quantum C-Tech the world's first company specializing in quantum technology that went IPO is headquartered in Huafei. Here, engineers are busy testing a device for a record-breaking quantum teleportation experiment on the world's first experimental quantum communication satellite. <laughs> <笑>其实没有你自己是不是做什么好的对啊真的你也不会你也不会在意你就是找几个小蛮友没有走过去啊但是你会就是觉得有一个人对你有威胁你才会吃彩他呀你会有这种几乎感觉感觉我家马上就
Chinese scientists are trying to master controlled nuclear fusion, which can provide a limitless and clean energy source for humankind. This is China's Artificial Sun project. The core of the sun is 15 million degrees Celsius. On December 30th, 2021, this donut-shaped reactor smashed a new record. It reached eight times the temperature of the sun's core for a stunning 1,056 seconds. This是你可以想象出来 once accomplished, the energy problem will be solved once and for all. But it will take decades. Before that, China must deal with a more pressing issue. How to provide enough energy to meet the rapidly rising demand of an expanding economy. These advanced industries need a lot of power. And for China's 1.4 billion people, the demand continues to rise. In the past decade, power generation has almost doubled in China. China still relies on coal for most of its energy. A decade ago, the industry was still highly fragmented, with a great number of smaller mines that were highly polluting and had problems with safety. China has more than doubled construction of new wind and solar plants over the past year. It's the biggest climate commitment ever made by any nation. In order to improve the country's energy infrastructure, Action must be taken, right away. In its drive to transition to a renewable energy future, for the past 10 years, China has been busy reorganizing and upgrading its coal industry, closing almost 70% of its coal mines, phasing out outdated coal production capacity by more than 1 billion tonnes per year. Reducing coal reliance while meeting a never-ending demand for more power, can China rise to the task? The first clue to the answer is here, at Heidaigo in Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, China's largest open-pit coal mine. Changes are already well underway. It's as big as 7,000 soccer fields. These beasts are working 24-7, producing 100,000 tonnes of coal every day. That meets the annual electricity demand for some half a million households. Well, 
它呢低流，特低龄，具有较高的发热量，可以说是咱们中国呀最好的煤炭之一了。那是咱们露天矿行业里边可以说是国产化，呃最好的。它的一天呢，呃生产能力大概四到五万吨左右。这下面的这是煤，大概平均厚度呢是二十八点八米。这个煤场呢，上面呢是岩石。The underground coal layer can be as deep as a 60-story building. The quickest way to reach the black gold, an explosion. Engineers are now operating a new generation of automated explosive vehicles. First, they have to drill holes in the surface layer. Next, some 1,300 tons of dynamite is dropped into the hollowed-out chambers and detonated transforming a 130 meter deep layer of rock into rubble. 十年前想象不了, 因为十年前, Half a month later, everything is ready. Hello Hey Daigo Open Pit Coal Mine produces 34 million tons of coal per year. There are 72 giant coal mines like this across the nation, with an annual output of over 10 million tonnes. By the end of 2021, large modern coal mines have taken 72% of the total coal production in China. However, upgrading the coal mining industry is just the first phase. The next is reducing the carbon footprint as much as possible. 粉煤灰来讲 Coal gang is the solid waste that is generated during the mining and washing process and accounts for 10 to 15 percent of total coal production. Five kilometers away from the coal mine, this coal gang power plant can turn waste into power. In the summer, Beijing uses up 10 million kilowatt hours of electricity a day. By turning waste into fire, this plant generates enough electricity to meet the needs of Beijing for two hours daily during the hottest months of the year. And it's all done in the greenest way possible. 
八百度五十度左右。相比那个煤粉炉的燃烧温度，活液中心一千四五百度的话，它属于一种低温燃烧，所以产生的这个氮氧化物、二氧化硫，呃，这些这个污染物相对呢要少，所以是用煤炭的绿色清洁利用方式。By the end of 2021. China's ultra-low emission firepower units accounted for 77% of the total. Now, more power plants have made it their goal to achieve near-zero emissions. The power plant is going to be in 22 years. The power plant is still pretty good. So, we can still get the power plant. But the power plant, as you said, will be in 22 我们就一直在想，未来我们怎么办？大概在有三十年，我们这块就没有煤了，没有煤了，我们怎么办？这个城市怎么办？因为这个城市当年刚开始建的时候，它也是一片什么都没有。Their future lies also in the coal ashes. 技术创新啊，你整个就是国家的发展，全是要靠科技的。包括就是我们也一样，现在我们这种技术就相当于把煤干石也能利用，然后粉煤灰也能利用，我煤炭到最后全变为产品。Their new technology can produce 4,000 tons of aluminum oxide a year from coal ashes. Production的一个变化，一个华丽转身。相当于提高了煤炭的附加值，因为我们做过测算，就是说一吨煤我们直接把它卖掉，我的利润是多少，然后按照我们这个产业化技术，就高质化利用技术，大概煤炭的价格会
The big challenge comes from China's vast geography. The country's inland of solar and wind farms, hydropower plants and geothermal power plants are in the west, while most of the power and energy demand comes from the eastern coastal provinces. Here at the Guangdong Power Grids Dispatch Center, engineers are coordinating the distribution of all kinds of clean energy from across the nation including that from the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region more than 4,000 kilometers away. Today, China has nearly 50,000 kilometers of ultra-high voltage transmission lines. It's the largest power grid in the world and continues to expand. By the year 2030, wind and solar energy will provide over 1.2 billion kilowatts of power, accounting for more than half of the country's total in 2020. Through all these measures, small coal mines have been closed down, coal production methods have been upgraded, and there has been a noticeable increase in the use of green energy. Now, China has built its own nationwide smart grid. As a true believer in global warming, China plans to reach carbon neutrality in 2060, after it peaks in carbon emission in 2030. As for Song Chung Pung, his dream will finally be realized when he retires. Technology or economic growth is only important to the extent that people are empowered by having better lives and achieving more. In 2013, China surpassed the US to become the world's largest e-commerce market. In the same year, a photography revolution kicked off. Drones entered the mass market, and these changes transformed a young girl's life. As she surfs the sea, Yang Yang, a self-taught photographer, perhaps recalls the days when she was doing two jobs, one in fast food, the other as a car washer. We are using the e Yang Yang. Wow, this is a photo. And you are very good. You are very good. You are very good. You are very good. You 因为他记得贴的短发嘛，比较喜欢男孩子这些运动。其实下海的背影照拍起来也挺好看的。The world could be muted to Yang Yang, but that doesn't affect her pursuing a life of freedom and possibilities.但说到杨洋的这个摄影作品，我最开始很欣赏他，也是因为我觉得照片是一个必须要声音的东西。但是他个人来说的话，其实他也不太去关注那些很嘈杂的声音。现在如果有更多的他们这类人哈，能更好的
向往的自由啊，这种无拘无束的生活呀。Yang Yang now spends her time enjoying herself on the beaches of Hainan. She started the journey of life in a small county in Chongqing in southwestern China. Nine years ago, she was still a young girl, dreaming of adventures outside her hometown. In China's online shopping boom, a company offered her a chance to be a part-time photographer in Hangzhou, the hub of China's e-commerce. But bending to norms doesn't apply to Yang Yang. After saving three months' salaries, she bought her first drone. Something she'd always dreamt of. So well did she master the operation of this machine that her skills won her a National Drone Photography Award. Drone operators, baristas, commercial live streamers, and professional computer gamers. Hundreds of new lines of work emerged in the past decade. And many, like Yang Yang, are empowered to make the choices they really want to make for themselves. The service sector takes up 48% of employment in China, providing jobs for over 746 million people. Over 22 million are in the catering industry. 
while another 13 million find jobs in food delivery services. Li Pei Wan was once an English tutor. She capitalized on China's startup boom by creating her own hot pot brand. 很多消费者都是通过什么流量平台看到了好玩的呀，好看的呀，然后他会根据这个内容，他说，哎，我要不要去？The digital economy was a key contributor for small and medium businesses to thrive in China. 改变这个行业最大的一个点，可能还是媒体属性的一个改变，就是我们这十年其实是应该叫做中国的一个自媒体发展的十年。the digital economy has been growing at an average rate of 15.9% since 2012, taking up 40% of the country's GDP. The country's digital boom gives a chance for Li Pei Wan to not only grow something on her own, but also create jobs to help others. Seeing a ready audience among China's younger generations and booming digital market, Li and her team came up with a song to celebrate the 10th year since the founding of her hot pot brand. China's booming service industry has been creating more and more jobs. The average person's income has more than doubled in the past decade. Meanwhile, China's manufacturing sector is wrestling with the services sector for younger members of the workforce. By 2025, Chinese factories will be short of 30 million skilled workers. This vocational school is expected to help narrow the labour gap, in particular building and operating high-speed rail. Zhonghui, 他是觉得就是小时候见过几次开火车的司机
Now, these motivated kids are proving they're equally good as others. You will be very sad for those children, really, because you can see their effort. You know, wow, their effort, effort, time, and energy is better than other children. I think that the children should be the one who should lead the teacher to move forward. 聪不聪明，真的不一定是一个优点，但是努力绝对是一个优点。我觉得比以前努力多了。有些人生下来就是从小在逆光里面长大嘛。我们梁山的孩子很多都是小时候特别苦嘛。有很多小孩一件衣服穿了很好多很很几年，好几年，穿本来是白色的衣服，穿黑了，然后洗了，还是黑色的，放在那里晾。但是很多梁山梁山的人很多都现在都脱贫了嘛，就是想回去，呃，改造一下自己的。In the past decade, China has laid over 30,000 kilometers of high-speed rail track. This has brought the total length up to 40,000 kilometers, equivalent to the circumference of the planet. It's also equivalent to building Japan's bullet train railway systems every year. This means that in order to operate, manufacture and maintain this gargantuan network, the country must continue to harvest the best talent it has to offer. When we are producing the electricity, we are looking for a scale. The industry, or the service industry, we are asking for the water quality to increase in the industry. 我们这个人才梯队已经出现了危机了。我的同学进了电力机车厂嘛，他们是制造电力机车的，他那个年龄段二十八岁以下的两个人，全场两百多号人。我们不能用机器代替的部分，都是需要人的。但是人从哪儿来呢？或者到站来干什么？减速，减速或者或者什么？停车。Today, 70% of new frontline workers contributing to China's modern manufacturing, new services and other emerging industries come from vocational schools like this one. And these schools are giving many young people a chance to pursue the career they desire, motivating those who are from less privileged background. New legislation has placed vocational education on an equal footing with general education. China already has the world's largest vocational education system. Enjoying almost free tuition, some 30 million students have already been enrolled in the sector. That means 30 million growing dreams. Since China's reform and opening up, Hundreds of millions of hard-working migrant workers supported China's economic miracle. Now, the new generations coming of age in this era are making their dreams come true. From innovation to structural changes, charging through challenges and uncertainties, China has been on its way to modernization. We Chinese 
是全体人民共同富裕的现代化，是物质文明和精神文明相协调的现代化，是人与自然和谐共生的现代化，是走和平发展道路的现代化。中国式现代化为人类实现现代化提供了新的选择。